If you lose a moment, you could lose a lot. So why not? Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever today. I'm going to talk about The Girl Can Rock at Hilary Duff Concert. The Girl Can Rock is a 2004 straight to DVD release. It's directed by Anna Bo Boiardi. Tons of cinematographers. <laughs> and then it's edited by Billy DeCicco. 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 Sorry. It stars Hilary Duff. <laughs> The cinematography and coverage of Hillary was totally fine. What I really, like, image speaking, which I guess could be a miscellaneous thing, but I'm gonna put it here. Um, everything captured is so early 2000s. <laughs> every one of Hillary's outfits, every, like, vibe of the camera, everything just screamed my preteen childhood, um, which was great. It was like a little time capsule. <laughs> Her music was so good, fam, and it still is good. It holds up. It started and I was like, Come on and light me up. But so many. I mean, Why Not's iconic, but Why Not was never my favorite. Come Clean, so good. But then I really loved off that album, I loved Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis, which is what she did sing, which was exciting. Um, but she had so many good ones, and these this is early, super early Hilary Duff, uh, and she went on to have good stuff, to continue to have good stuff. Um, so that was great. I loved being able to hear some bangers, for sure. And then, um, it was really weird, because for a good chunk of it, I was like, is she lip syncing? Like, there's no way. But then later in the behind the scenes that are, like, attached to make it, like, a movie... Um, she sings at rehearsal with them and like she's definitely singing because the rest of it all sounds very, you know, live and everything. And she sounds very similar to the record. So I was like, oh damn, actually, okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe she wasn't lip singing. Um, but yeah, the music fan can't go wrong with the music. <laughs> so the way this is structured is it's like her concert and then like a bunch of like fun behind the scenes thing talking about it and all that kind of stuff like attached to make it like a movie or whatever. And this, this is important for you to know because during the concert I'm watching it and I'm like, she seems so uncomfortable on stage. Like she either doesn't want to be there or she's so nervous. I like, she's so robotic and it made me sad. I was like, does she not want to be here? Why is she doing this? Like, this is making me sad. I feel like she's not having a good time. Like my heart hurts for her. But then the behind the scenes started and this was so essential. I needed to see these behind the scenes. I'm so glad they were attached because in the behind the scenes, I got to see her be how she was and find out very valuable information I needed to know to be able to really judge that concert. Because I found out that what we saw as the concert was her first show on her first tour ever. So this is the first concert she has ever put on for her audience. And that's what they decided to film. So of course she's incredibly nervous and doesn't know what to do because she's never done it before. And that is totally everything on stage for her was choreographed because she didn't know what to do because she had never done a concert before. So like it made so much sense why it was so like stick-ish and so robotic because it had to be because she had no idea what she was doing and she was incredibly nervous because it was her show ever. And the behind the scenes let me see her as like a kid. She had just turned 16 at the beginning of this tour. 16, she's a child. And in these behind the scenes, you see how much of a child she actually was. And I know people are like, oh, 16, they're teenagers, they have that much of a child, they can work there. I don't know. No, you can see her youth. You can see how young she is. And it was wonderful to see. I was so glad that I could see the kid coming off of her, her answers to questions were so like absolutely and just everything about her in the behind the scenes made me so happy to see because she was so nervous when she saw herself on tv or she was like so nervous to put on this or put on that or whatever else and do this concert and 
I just, it was so good to see and every, like, I was so glad I saw it. And then I just started thinking, like, she had, it showed a bunch of fan interactions because fans, like, you know, got to meet her or one whatever thing. And she was so sweet to every fan and, like, asked them questions and made them feel comfortable. And it was adorable. But then I started to think about, I cannot imagine being in that situation as a 16 year old. I have, I kept a journal, like I, not every day, but like I kept a journal when I was a teenager. I technically still write in the dang thing from time to time, but very rarely. And uh, I'll go back and read journal entries from my teenage years. And I'm like, there's no way I could have been dealing with that while also being a famous person. Like there's no way I can't comprehend that. I'm so like every child and teen actor ever, bravo, good job proud of you like oh my god the hardest thing ever um so this i was so glad the behind the scenes were attached because it changed my entire opinion of everything if it had just been the concert i would have been like yeah that sucked because she was robotic like you know like what and i thought she was lip syncing but i think she might have not been that's everything i have for the girl can rock killer deaf concert uh, my final rating is a three because i mean it wasn't great but like you know i also can't judge the writing or anything like that or acting because there wasn't any so sorry Three microphones out of ten are total movie counters. Pure Death Swim Crack counters are the same. If you want to keep up with the movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I got a tier starting at just one dollar where you get every video a week early and a coupon code for merch and all that good stuff. Uh, buy merch. Merch is great. Pure Death Swim. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm not in charge of your life. So you are, so you do, and don't be a turd about it, I guess. I want to be done.